In October 2011, where in Iranian pyjamas and a hoodie picked up in a Hungarian rugby club, I managed to slot home this pressure kick to win Jody a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc from a New Zealand vineyard. Why I was put in this situation? Well, that's Jody's fault. She had planned a bike ride across the world. Cycling across the world. What exactly does it mean? What will it involve? You'll see plenty of the world. And as the roads get smaller, the real adventure begins. One thing is for sure, you will need to get through some pedalling. In our case, a daily target of 100 kilometers per day. One hundred kilometers. That's one hundred kilometers every day. Every single day. Navigating across entire countries. Through deserts. Across mountains and through hills, often traversing across suburb upon suburb to briefly glimpse the most spectacular sights on earth. Above all else, people normally like to ask us about the problems what it's like to navigate through hills without maps or to carry 50 kilograms of equipment through endless hairpins. But what about just boredom? Good bicycle maintenance prevents breakdowns and it helped us to continue to enjoy the ride. But sometimes there are few options but to walk. Did anyone out there believe that you could actually cycle every inch of the world? Mornings often meant seeing our camp spot for the very first time. Sometimes that might be in the middle of a Tai Chi class. At other times, under snow. With a hundred kilometers to get through each day, Whatever the weather, it's important to keep smiling, keep waving, do whatever it takes just to keep your spirits high. Just don't take yourself too seriously. When we set out, Jodie and I had very different goals. I wanted to throw a rugby ball around with people from other cultures. Jodie said something about liking mountains. Don't they look majestic? I hate mountains. Almost as much as I hate the cold. But we thawed out, we reached Southeast Asia, and life went on. So why do we do this? Why do we continue to explore? to push the boundaries, to throw ourselves into a new world. Sometimes the greatest rewards in life will be at the end of a chaotic journey. One that requires risk and sacrifice. Sometimes just for a priceless view. Others a memory for a lifetime. In a single calendar year, we had cycled from Twickenham Stadium, explored rugby across the world and arrived at the Rugby World Cup in New Zealand. We would scrummed down with the Prime Minister, asked Richie McCaw to complete our project and turned a dream into reality by delivering a message of unity and completing a 28,000 km voyage across the world. It wasn't flat. Writing our book, 
odd shaped balls brought fresh challenges, happy memories and above all, a beer belly to accompany my skinny arms. Please visit our website and we hope you enjoy the ride.